looking breaking news right now in the last 10 minutes we received new surveillance video showing that smash and grab robbery at a cannabis shop in the Soto neighborhood. The burglar smashed right through the front of Canazone this morning and took off with over $10,000 of merchandise. King 5's Drew Andre just spoke with the owner this morning who says this is not the only location that's been targeted, right Drew? Well, that's right. This is Canna Zone, and three different of their locations, including this one, have now been hit two different times. About six months ago, this one was targeted too. So it was a group that came with a black car and smashed right through the front entrance here. As you can see right now, they're just working on those cleanup efforts here. They've been spending the last hour or so working on that, but they are just frustrated at this point. Let's take a look at some surveillance video that we just got that shows exactly what happened here. It's actually two different times that they smash right into the front once the first and then the second is when they truly break through there and then a group of five then go in and that's when they grab all sorts of different product that are inside the store uh, the flour makes up a lot of what that is but different product that adds up to as much as fifteen thousand dollars just another frustrating day for the owners here i think that they need to pass a law that says uh you know with more stricter rules, even with minors, because what's happening is these minors, there's no consequences. So they just keep doing it, you know? Um, I think that they gotta come up with stronger uh, laws that they need to pass, you know? More consequences, you know, make them accountable. And of course, they've been seeing this trend, not only their stores, but other stores around Western Washington that have been targeted. Again, as you take a look here, as they're just working to clean up a lot of product that was broken to while this was smashed, and of course, lots of it that was stolen too. So again, in the neighborhood of ten to $15,000 worth of product that was stolen, not to mention the cost it'll be to replace the front entrance here. Reporting live in Seattle, Drew Andre, King 5 News.